What's up, YouTube? <laughs> well, we're with some Big Mac tacos today. I uh, got another Taco Tuesday. But uh, before we start, go and say prayer. Talat, tamay wano for malagi for na wemo to gan for futu meti matul for malagi ni mna ngante to meti gan kuni for malagi for na lo to mafai wa fago special min. All right. So yeah, today's uh, tacos Tuesday is uh, Big Mac tacos made by yours truly, Miss Lightina Tupelo. Yep. So I mean, <coughs> just any general TikTok. Not TikTok or short video of Big Mac is what we used. So, yeah. Yep. This is like the trending taco right now. So, we decided, you know, give it a shot. But, yeah. And I love Big Mac. Yeah, my wife loves McDonald's. So much. My, my wife's one of those uh, McDonald's addicts. Like, whenever she has the opportunity, if you say the McDonald's word, she's like, yes, let's get McDonald's today. Let's see how accurate it is. Fries, the Big Mac sauces. Sweetie, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <coughs> Pretty good. Yep, nice. Mm. Nice. That's good Big Mac sauce. Great job. Great job. Mm. Yeah, my mom and my uh, wife basically made it for like a whole year. <laughs> or a whole month. Yep, I doubled it. That's good. Now I can eat it with other stuff too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's see what I got here. Ooh. Would you rather Christmas edition? By the time this video gets to you guys, it will still be November. But I mean, a ton of people have already been in the Christmas spirit since November first, so mm -hmm. it's all good. Um, the first question is: Would you rather? Hmm. Would you rather have a tropical Christmas or a white Christmas? Mm. White Christmas still beats it out. But after that, I don't want anything to do with the snow. Mm. It was amazing. I mean, we've both, um, experience tropical Christmas. I don't know if it's because we grew up with a white Christmas, but it just doesn't feel like Christmas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it just depends on when you grow up, like mm -hmm. my wife said. Because the thing is, like, when you grow up with a white Christmas, you always see movies of people celebrating Christmas in the snow so like when when there's no snow it's kind of, it's just kind of weird it's very weird so yeah like my first Christmas in Bunga I was like man is it really Christmas mm. <laughs> like are you sure it's Christmas like, it does not feel like it I feel like San Diego is really good about like being in the Christmas bear like <clears throat> San Diego overall is really good about having events you know for families and always have like decorations out for like Halloween or for Thanksgiving, which obviously already has Christmas <clears throat> decorations out, but it's nice out here because it still kind of feels like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Would you rather go caroling or decorate cookies? Mm -hmm. Caroling. Because mm -hmm. if I decorate the cookies, I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love cookies, so. And I love caroling. I think the last time I went caroling was on my mission. We went with the youth group. Was it? I think so. Caroling's good because you just 
Mm-hmm. It's like service, you know? Mm-hmm. It feels good. And it's pretty fun, you know? Spread the Christmas spirit. Like, I used to love going and caroling when we go back like, to the widow's houses and stuff. People mm -hmm. who had lost family members. Mm-hmm. Always a good time. Um, next question is, <clears throat> would you rather go sledding or build a snowman? Go sledding. Mm -hmm. I built a snowman and it's fun, but it takes a lot of work and in the cold, and then when you start sweating <laughs> in the cold, it's like you don't want to be outside anymore just because you get sick and stuff. But sledding, man, you, well, you, you probably have the same experience, but at least you're having fun. Sledding, like building a snowman takes work and then the satisfaction just comes at the end. Mm -hmm. For me, sledding as well. You know, making a snowman, you know, like the cartoons and all of that, they make it mm -hmm. seem like a nice, clear, white snowman, perfectly proportioned, the head, <clears throat> the torso and the bottom. But like, when you roll it out, it's all covered in dirt, grass, yeah it looks like a and it's not really as pretty as the the movies and stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> see <laughs> so yeah sledding because it's like the only workout you're getting is walking back up the hill mm -hmm. like we're building a snowman you have to really like roll the ball like really nice and uniform, but it's so hard. Cause you roll it one way, then you gotta roll it sideways. Mm -hmm. And it comes out more rectangle, I feel like sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or like cylinder like. Okay, would you rather buy the gifts or wrap the gifts? Wrap the gifts cause I'm a cheapo. <laughs> I like both. Buying gifts is fun. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, it, <clears throat> but yeah, it's fun. And then wrapping it is fun too. Did you ever do that one game where like everyone buys the gift and then like you can trade, either trade or swap, mm. but like you only get one trade or swap? Are you talking about white elephant? Is that white elephant? Oh. So that brings me to the next question. Mm -hmm. Would you rather do a gift exchange or Secret Santa? Mm -hmm. Secret Santa. Why? Because the whole like, like it loses, mm -hmm. I don't know. I shouldn't say lose value, but like, when you like do that white elephant thing where like you see someone give a gift to you mm -hmm. and then it gets taken away from you. <laughs> but then again, it goes to show like it doesn't matter what gift you get, you should just be happy that you got a gift. So, gift exchange is different from white elephant. No, I know, but like that's what I'm trying to say is like that's why I like gift exchanges because mm. you just get the gift, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'd rather do a gift exchange because <clears throat> my family has been doing Secret Santa since like 2016. And it's like, every single year I forget it's Secret Santa and I'm like exposing what gift is from who. It's cause I just want to show like whoever I gave it to that I like spent time like actually being thoughtful. Oh, but like at the, the same gift. time it's just- It's like, and then also I'd like to know what they want, like, you know, what thought they put into, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. That's why Secret Santa you. kills me cause I'm like, you just do what I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's better just to keep it anonymous though. Hmm. The next question is, would you rather give or receive 
a homemade gift or a store-bought gift? For me, homemade. Mm -hmm. I will say this. Like cookies or something. Mm -hmm. And like gifting it. But some people actually want store-bought, so I don't right, know. Right, right, right. No, I will say this. I'll be honest. I think as a little kid, I would definitely want something from the store, but now I wouldn't mind to, like having a like homemade product just because like I could tell someone like put their like effort into like gifting me something from home. Would you um? Oh, well, this is a you know, would you rather about? What was your favorite Christmas present growing up that you ever received? A karaoke. <clears throat> Every year, I received a karaoke up until fourth grade. So like, I think I got my first karaoke when I was six. Mm -hmm. And then I'd get a karaoke here and there. And so I think the last karaoke that I received was super cool because it was like two big speakers and in the center was like a little screen. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it showed the words. I don't think it showed the words. I think it just showed the the songs mm -hmm. and then i also had a microphone so that was my favorite and then also when i was six and we were still living in the bay mm -hmm. uh, i got a leapfrog dang those things were like the thing if you had a leapfrog back yeah. in the day so it was cool we like, gotta show that like i still remember like what songs would play when i would have a pen and press on it i don't mm -hmm. know i just i just thought it was cool so I had that, but yeah, karaoke and the leapfrog. I'll be honest, growing up, my favorite gift was my Game Boy PS. Mm. My Game Boy Advance PS that I got for Christmas. That was like the best gift I ever received for Christmas. I mean, I got consoles later on, like Xbox and my like a Wii and stuff. Mm -hmm. Dang, how lucky <laughs> my parents like. They got us all. They like, they really took care of us like in Christmas time. But um, for sure, my favorite one was the Game Boy PS. Mm -hmm. Man, I took that thing everywhere with me. Like, and I felt it was cool because like that was like my first introduction to, to Nintendo games, so, like Donkey Kong, Mario, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. That was like my first introduction to all of that. It was nice too. It was like this. Like black, silver, like, I don't know how to describe it. It was like grayish, but it was like a silver, nice silver to it. Mm -hmm. These are amazing. What was the most meaningful gift that you got from someone? Well, one of the most meaningful things I got from someone was um, one secret Santa my mom had me. Mm -hmm. And she bought me a fuzzy pajama. Mm -hmm. um the reason why that was very meaningful to me was because like i didn't know how much she was paying attention <laughs> she does every mom's no <laughs> every time we would go to walmart we'd go to the boys section for my brothers and we'd pass by like the pajamas and i'd be like can i get one and she'd be like yeah go ahead and i'd be like oh never mind it's okay so she got me like a really fuzzy soft um plush <clears throat> pajamas set and i was just so excited i like went and changed and just like enjoyed myself in that pajamas but that honestly for, to me was one of the most meaningful another one was when me and bruce first started dating he brought um a basket over that i'm sure it was your mom and your sister that put it together? No, I put that one together. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> I got the stuff for it. They put it together okay, nicely. Okay, because the handwriting was very nice. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely. <laughs> it was very um, meaningful, but I like, I didn't really get a chance to like read all the messages. Like, I think there was a jar of kisses and it was like... Mm -hmm. Oh, that was lovely, actually. Yeah, I felt... It... But there was some other, like the Korean stuff I bought. Yeah, and the Korean stuff and like the the body wash and it was so like it's because when i made it they're like this looks ugly <laughs> <laughs> no but that was very um meaningful to me it was like and like all of a sudden <clears throat> when uh 
because it was under the tree of mm -hmm. at my sister's house and all of a sudden it was like dispersed to everyone and i was like okay at least give me the notes like the little papers that have mm -hmm. messages on it like even though i didn't get to like you know enjoy most of it but i mean at least my family enjoyed it and at least then, they were happy for me so there was this one time when we were younger and i was living my when we were living with my grandparents in glendale um how see on them and loop in them they came over to the house with gifts for us mm -hmm. and one of the gifts was power rangers so if you guys haven't watched our our other taco tuesday that was on halloween the man like i said power rangers was just big back then mm -hmm. so when we watched uh or when um how see on them came over how see so um that's he's like a mutual friend to me and Tina, him and his sister are like mutual friends um but yeah they came over with like all this gifts for us and they're like you know we we're all struggling at that time because like you know we're all young and they they have a big family we have a big family so it was just meaningful that they came over like and just showed uh, the christmas spirit by giving us gifts and like at that time i was like what are you guys giving us gifts for like i didn't really it didn't really hit me but like as i got older i'm like dang man they really like they're a heck of a big family and like instead of getting all the gifts for their kids they had their kids go get gifts for their friends and stuff mm -hmm. so i always thought that was a meaningful christmas and then every christmas um i came home to utah to see my girlfriend at the time which is my wife now <laughs> ah, those are some meaningful christmases too <laughs> Just because of the time we got to spend together, we didn't like long distance and stuff. Any of you done long distance out there, you already know how it is. It's not easy, so. But I'm grateful for it because it made our relationship stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, you saying that um, reminded me of one Christmas. There was one year I went to primary every Sunday. I was the only person that would show up. And my primary teacher was so amazing. She we would have great lessons together. So I remember one time she asked me about what I'm excited about for Christmas. And I told her that um, I wish we could have a Christmas tree. And I was just saying that. I was just like, you know, just saying like, oh, yeah. My parents said that we, we probably won't be able to have a Christmas tree, Christmas tree. And then all of a sudden, I can't remember if we were at home <clears throat> or if we came home to it. But there was a Christmas tree in our front door step Dang. with a bunch of wrapped gifts. And they were just trying to be secret about it and leave it. But one of my cousins saw... <laughs> um, my teacher's husband put things down and he told him to be quiet about it but he told my dad oh yeah it was so and so i came and dropped the, i came and dropped the the tree and the gifts so but honestly i i was not expecting that but the fact that she she did that for me that once uh, um winter was was pretty amazing so Well, you gotta let the viewers know what we're snacking on, eh? Well, we thank you all for watching if you've gotten this far. Yep. Thank you for staying too. Thank you guys. Much and love. Hopefully you will join us next week for another Taco Tuesday. But yeah, um, thank you all for your support and thank you all for being amazing. Happy holidays yep. and we will see you next time. See you later. No, we gotta do it together. Um, Ready? See, see you later. later. Delicious.